second thing I have to say is that you are all going to fail. And that's awesome. Because you're going to learn a lot from it. And how I'm going to convey this point is how I learned how to ride a bike. So let me ask you guys in here. How many of you guys learned how to ride a bike before the age of 15? Please raise your hand. Okay. So I'm here to tell you that you guys are more awesome than I am because I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was 18 years old. I guess when I was kicked out of my house, you know, a light bulb went out of my head and I was like, you know, I gotta learn how to ride a bike. And I'm gonna compare everything that you're gonna do in life to first learning how to ride a bike. So the reason why I wanted to learn how to ride a bike, very simple. I wanted to learn how to ride a bike so I can ride an am a scooter that I bought off Amazon that ran on lawnmower oil. So I can ride that to Northern Virginia Community College because buses didn't run between 9 and 4 and I worked at a local law firm at the time. And I thought this would be a great idea to ride a motor scooter to school. Actually it was a horrible idea because I almost got hit on Route 7 quite a few times and I stopped riding the motor scooter. So I learned how to ride a bike, very simple. I asked uh, my brother Daquan, who was from the family that, I, that took me in when I was kicked out, and I was like, hey Daquan, um, could you teach me how to ride a bike? So he pulls a bike out of the shed, pulls a helmet, and says, okay Josh, here's the parking lot, here's the bike, here's the helmet. I'll be back in a few hours, I'm gonna play Super Smash Brothers Ball. <laughs> and I'm looking at it, I'm like, really? You're gonna leave me here without, with, without helping me? You know, learn how to ride a bike, you're gonna go play video games. I can understand if you're working, but damn. <laughs> And he was like, nah, you'll be good. I learned how to ride a bike when someone pushed me down a hill. You'll be fine in the parking lot. <laughs> so he puts me there, and, I, and me being the macho man that I want to be, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna learn how to ride a bike. It's gonna be fine. I jump on the bike, I fall flat on my arm. Not my face, luckily, but my arm. Uh, get, nice scab right here. Get back in again, fall on the other arm, fall on my knee. I did that about 20 times over the next hour. Um, finally, after the second or third hour, I was able to at least balance the bike, at least with one leg. Um, but I still wasn't able to pedal. And by the time I got two uh, legs down there, I realized, wait, I can't pedal like that. After the fourth or fifth hour, I was pedaling, and then I ran into a car in the, some branches near like the middle of the parking lot, and I got a little scratch in my face. And then by 10 p.m. that night, he dropped me off there like about 2 p.m. I was riding around the parking lot and I felt, like, I felt like I ruled the world, which really is kind of pathetic considering with an 18 year old riding a bike. <laughs> I didn't even turn the thing. That man there, at least I wasn't that old, like 41. <laughs> I finally learned how to ride a bike. And I give this analogy very simply because life is like learning how to ride a bike. Some people are better at knowing how to ride a bike the fourth or fifth time. But every one of you guys and gals in this room, when you first got on that bike, you probably fell. And you're probably smaller and you may have cried a little bit. Can't say that I cried because, you know, that would make me look unmacho right now. <laughs> but, you know, life, life is like riding a bike. It hurts. You fall off. But, life is also about getting back on that bike and persevering. Because none of you guys and gals in this room would know how to ride a bike if you didn't get back on that bike every single time, to finally say, yeah, I can ride that bike. I can do this. And that's something to say to you guys, is that there are going to be things that, not only in your college career, this is a life lesson. You know, you may get rejected from that dream job that you want to get. You may get rejected from that dream college. You may get rejected from that girl or guy that you're trying to get. You know, more of a real thing right now. But it's not about what happens at that time. It's about what you do after you get back on that bike, after you fail, that really matters. And failure is amazing. It's awesome. Because if you really think about it, success is really knowing how not to fail. That's my second lesson to you today.